Roselle Catholic. We'll be keeping our eyes on Khalil Whitney. Well, Whitney is a versatile scorer. He's headed to Big Blue Nation. I love the way he gets buckets inside the arc. He can take a broken play, turn it into a basket. He's an isolation player. His three-point range has improved. He's exciting and one to watch. I mentioned B.J. Boston, who's generating a ton of interest as well. Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, North Carolina, all interested. Put them all in the mix for this extra long, bouncy wing. Excels in transition. He's really improved. His confidence level is at an all-time high. All these two teams traditionally powerhouse programs at the high school level. Roselle Catholic from New Jersey. And they will control the tip, but it goes out of bounds to Norcross. Wow. And see Roselle Catholic nationally ranked number 11, and Norcross opens up the scoring with a J from Kyle Sturdivant. Talking about Whitney and Tyrese Maxey headed to Kentucky next year. John Calipari is going to have some offensive firepower. Right Speaking there. of firepower, there's Khalil Whitney to start things off. Number 10 on the ESPN 100. So and it's good inside the arc and at the rim. Now the three-point shot is there. Muhammad on the other end, able to scoop and score. A 9 a.m. practice on a Sunday or a 7 p.m. game on a Friday. He's showing up. Speaking of showing up, there's B.J. Boston stepping outside with some serious range. Muscles his way into the paint, no dice. Extra possession. Murphy, extra pass, and a triple launched and drilled by Sturdivant. Nice. Whitney in transition. He's the player to watch. One of many from Roselle, and there's a flush from Omayori. He's another one who's garnering a lot of attention. So he just made the cut as one of the top juniors in our rankings. Sturdivant, a good find inside, and Muhammad makes no mistake. He's the number one player in the state of Georgia in his class. Extra pass, and Sturdivant finishes at the cup. Catholic in the early going. And they still are. Boston ahead of the pack. Rises. He's able to get out ahead of the pack. Off the missed shot. Norcross, you know they want to run. Boston knows exactly what to do with it. Here's another look. Up close and personal. BJ Boston. You know, great stat. The Tournament of Champions is the best teams from the state of New Jersey that win state championships. Watch out for this. Here up and down. I'll finish my story after the table <laughs> stops shaking. UNLV commit comes up with the steal and the transition. He gets his hands on it and he knows right where to go. He went in a straight line path right to the rim. Showing the folks out west. It's a long three and drilled from Sturdivant. And USC's getting a good way to work on the glass. Very effective inside finishing offensively. Oh, Pierre nice. Louis keeps it alive and finishes. Nice hustle play. Yeah, Brandon Barr. Pierre Louis settling it down. Omiyori going to work. Too easy. Here is Whitney with the steal. Yeah, Boston soft on that pass. Whitney all the way in. Muscles it into the hoop. Are you kidding me? Tough move, Whitney. A little wiggle to Caleb Murphy as well. I like that young man, too, in the blue. Boston, a finger roll. Eat your heart out, George Gervin. Boston. Now Muhammad has to put it up. Challenge shot, and he hits from the elbow. And just that possession was so smooth by Norcross. A near steal, but still Boston with it. Rocks the baby to sleep. Bad pass, but B.J. Boston, this is, this is just for a dunk contest. That was easy. They don't want to go up and down. They want to execute, but they're not holding the ball, playing stall ball. They're running their offense. Start event, another. Sturdivant hanging, finding, firing, and hitting is Isaac Martin. Senior forward makes it 32-18 Norcross. Omayori splits the defense. Nice move to the hoop. He's got great footwork. He's got the footwork. That's a big part of it. Now the hands have to come with that. Sturdivant, so tough in traffic. Well, he's got a nice tip by Colby Rogers. Transition game working to perfection for Khalil Whitney. In terms of his game, he doesn't have the three-point shot down, but he has that inside the arc game. How about that follow from Muhammad? Rocking the rim. You know what? He stays in the lane on both ends of the floor. That's smart, and that's effective. Picked off by Murphy, and Pierre-Louis returns the favor. Long steps to the rim, and he settles it down just in time. He's great at pushing the ball off the floor, handing out the assist, and he can make the shot. This guy's a shooter. Sure is. Isaac Martin, two for two from beyond the arc. Shooting the ball at a high clip right now, too. This guy's been a big part of that. Boston lets it fly and hits that one. Are you serious? Boston.
almost an unlimited range. A sports center top 10. Two seconds plus on the clock. Take a look at this one. This was beautiful by Brandon Boston. One, two dribble pull up, half ending, splash. Gives his team a 44-24 lead. I love the way he can read the game. He understands when to give it up, when to get a bucket. And that outside jump shot, one of the best in the junior class. Hasn't had many attempts so far in this game. Speaking of attempts, there's a splash down from Boston. Zach Khalil Whitney has not been to the line, so he's got to take it and get fouled. Or he's got to post up, he's got to cut. Sturdivant stares down that triple. Almayori has it poked away from him, but able to regain it. And a splash from Colby Rogers. He's dangerous from the outside. Here's Whitney putting it up and stepping outside. Showing a little bit of versatility in his game. Ball. You see how he... 18-point lead for Norcross. Boston, a step back tray. Holy smokes, this guy. Comes off the flip, the step, the back, the rise, the quick release, and then the NBA. Whitney trying to get up on Boston. He doesn't work either. B.J. Boston raining it down from the outside. Khalil Whitney, good defender on B.J. Boston. Now he laid on the screen. You got to get over that screen and push Boston down. Keeps it alive. Oh, Whitney. great tip out, yes. Here, Louis. Splash down. Very good straight line driver, though. Step back and hits a long two again. Again, the long two, the rhythm. Pierre Louis leaves it inside. Omayori with the flush. Not that one. That was over the rim. The big fella looks like a mountain. Look how high he gets up. Bill Tennessee, <laughs> top five program in the nation. They thought he was retired. Whoa, going upstairs, BJ Boston. B.J. Boston, Sturdivant puts it nice and soft. How about on the money by Sturdivant? Right over half court. He's very comfortable with the ball in his hands. He's got that herky-jerky game. Just unable to finish, but Muhammad there for the foul. And his shot selection is good. He's not a, you know, he's not hunting shots. Offensive foul and Whitney able to finish up. Yeah, that's where his hands got to get better. He's got to do a lot of work pre-practice. Sturdivant oh, yeah. looked like he lost that one on the way up and kind of batted it in the hoop. Talk about the talent that's just oozing out of the state of Georgia right now. We're going to see more of it later tonight. Whitney is able to hit that one. Martin able to track it down, but not save it safely. Now ahead of the pack, Pierre Louis. Even when he doesn't play well, he's happy. He's been a dynamo today. Oh, great time. Absolutely. And the finish at the rim for Rivera again. Don't forget we've got game three of our coverage today. Olive Branch Gonzaga coming up in about 15 minutes after this game. DJ Jeffries going to M Memphis, five-star player. You've got to watch him, folks. Paul will be back with us at 7.30, so enjoy the brief breather. A little Dunkin' Donuts break. Step aside. Norcross takes care of Roselle Catholic by 20. B.J. Boston leads the way. Big time score, 26 points. And that'll put the bow on this one.